why there are no bridges across the Amazon River. The Amazon River, whether considered the longest in the world or the second longest after the Nile, stretches over a staggering 4,300 miles. Surprisingly, despite its immense length, there is a notable absence of bridges spanning the river. It is not due to the river being too wide to construct a bridge across. So, what is the reason behind this conspicuous absence? Firstly, during the rainy season, the Amazon's water level rises significantly, causing a substantial increase in its width. A crossing that may be three miles wide in January could expand to a staggering 30 miles. Additionally, the riverbanks consist of soft sediment prone to erosion, resulting in a constant presence of debris and floating islands as large as 10 square acres. These factors pose significant challenges for engineers attempting to construct a bridge. However, the primary reason for the lack of bridges is more practical in nature. The Amazon basin, through which the river flows, has limited road infrastructure. Building a massive bridge would essentially connect to very few existing roads, as the river is flanked by dense rainforests on both sides. The sparse population in the region and the isolation of the few cities along the Amazon further diminish the necessity for a bridge. Macapa, a city with almost half a million residents, lacks road connections to the rest of Brazil. Moreover, the Amazon serves as the main transportation artery for the region, rendering a bridge unnecessary. Furthermore, constructing any major projects in the Amazon would have devastating consequences for the environment, adding another deterrent to bridge construction. In summary, the absence of a bridge across the Amazon River can be attributed to a combination of engineering challenges, limited road infrastructure, the region's sparse population, and the environmental impact such a project would entail. The Amazon River offers a plethora of fascinating features. Scientists discovered in 2011 that it is part of an extraordinary twin river system, with an aquifer called Rio Hamza flowing beneath it. The Rio Hamza, with a flow rate only 3% of the Amazons, runs underground, roughly following the path of the surface river. The exact source of the Amazon remains a topic of debate among scientists, although the prevailing theory is that it originates in the Andean mountains of Peru. Three primary rivers contribute to its formation, and it traverses four countries, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, and Venezuela, while its watershed covers nine countries. Remarkably, 40% of South America's water finds its way into the Amazon. Swimming in the Amazon is generally considered dangerous due to its wildlife, including flesh-eating piranhas. However, Slovenian athlete Martin Strel accomplished the feat in 2007, swimming a total of 3,273 miles along the river. Strel was accompanied by support boats that dropped raw meat into the water to divert any potential predators. The Amazon River is home to numerous unique species, with the Amazon River dolphin being one of the most well-known. Recognized for its pink coloration, it holds the title of the largest river dolphin species worldwide. Other notable inhabitants include black caimans, electric eels, and green anacondas. The arapaima, a colossal air-breathing fish, also calls the Amazon home. The largest recorded arapaima weighed over 440 pounds and measured 15 feet in length. Another intriguing phenomenon associated with the Amazon is the pororoca, a tidal bore featuring waves reaching heights of up to 13 feet. These waves can travel as far as 500 miles upstream and are popular among surfers. They serve as yet another factor contributing to the absence of bridges across the river.